Lesson 1B, the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus, Part 2. I call this the evaluation method. So what this says, if we write the indefinite integral of f prime of x dx, we know that's going to equal to an antiderivative f of x plus c. But we could also write it as the integral of f of x dx equals big f of x plus c. Now, each one of these can show or illustrate the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2. The integral from a to b now, this is a definite integral, is equal to, watch this, the function at b minus the function at a. Again, that returns a value. It could also be written, sometimes published as, the integral from a to b of f of x dx is the antiderivative at b minus the antiderivative at a. Instead of appealing to geometry like we did in the last lesson, we are now going to utilize the fundamental theorem to evaluate some definite integrals. The integral from negative 1 to 2 of 3x squared dx, the first thing I have to do is find the antiderivative, which is going to be x cubed. Now I'm going to ignore the c, and I'll explain that in a moment, and I'm also going to put brackets around the antiderivative for notation, and say I'm going to go from negative 1 to 2. That intermediate step is just for notation. So it tells me I have to plug first 2 into the antiderivative, and then subtract plugging in the negative 1 to the antiderivative. And that, of course, equals 9. Number 2 is the integral from 0 to pi of sine of x dx. Oops, I meant the integral from 0 to pi of quantity 1 plus sine of x dx. First thing is, find the antiderivative. And the antiderivative of 1 is x. The antiderivative of sine of x is negative cosine of x. And I'm going to take that from 0 to pi. So then I have pi minus the cosine of pi minus 0 minus the cosine of 0. That, of course, is going to give me pi minus a negative 1, so pi plus 1, minus a minus plus cosine of 0 is 1. So in the end, this comes out to be pi plus 2. That's my integral value. Example 3, negative 2 to 3 of x minus 5 dx, antiderivative x squared over 2 minus 5x, and from negative 2 to 3, middle step is notation. So 9 halves minus 15, that's when I plug in the 3, and then I get 4 over 2 plus 10 when I plug in the negative 2, and that comes out to be negative 45 over 2. It's a negative quantity. Example 4, the integral from negative 1 to 1 of quantity x cubed minus 1 dx. So we have x to the 4th over 4 minus x, taking that from negative 1 to 1. So I have 1 fourth minus 1 minus 1 fourth plus 1. 1 fourths cancel out, and I'm left with negative each one of these could have been found in the calculator, although these were painfully easy, painfully easy, so you wouldn't want to use your calculator, but I do want to show you the syntax. So in the home screen, you want to draw up the integral parenthesis. That would be pressing second seven. So try that. Second seven brings up the integral with a parenthesis. I can type in my function, three x to the power of two, then I use a comma to say with respect to x. Now if I ended the parenthesis here, it would give me an antiderivative, 
but I want to evaluate it so I can use another parenthesis and say from negative 1 to 2 and that will return the 9. Likewise in the second one we would say the integral of 1 plus sine of x with respect to x from 0 to pi. An alternative to this is if I go into my calculator and define y1 equals x minus 5, then when I do the integral at the home screen, it would be the integral of y1 of x with respect to x from, in this case, negative 2 to 3. It's a good way to maybe check your answers. A wonderful way to assess your understanding is to do this problem. I really want you to do it and press pause because sometimes people have misconceptions. This is really a focus again on the area integral connection. Do it by hand and make sure you do it right. Here we go. So I'm looking at two different areas. I got A1 and then this here is the other area bounded by the function and the x-axis and I'm asked to find the total area. So if I want total area, I only want positive amounts. If I did the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx, and I added it to the integral from 1 to 2 of f of x dx, I hope you see that that would be wrong. That would give me the net area. I don't want the net area this first integral expression would return a negative value because the functions below the x-axis so what I need to do is put a negative in front of it I want the opposite of the negative quantity so this is going to equal negative the integral from 0 to 1 of the function 3x squared minus 3 dx plus the integral from 1 to 2, 3x squared minus 3dx. These will both return now positive values. I've worked out the antiderivatives and the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2 evaluation method. I've plugged it all in and I've got 6. So a1 was equal to 2 while a2 was equal to 6. The answer is positive 6. But note, the integral from 0 to 2 of 3x squared minus 3dx is equal to negative 2 plus 4, which equals 2, which is not equal to the area that we sought. And you'll want to verify that using the calculator. You'll want to do example two and then check with my solutions. And the answer should be 11 fourths. We have a 1 fourth area here, a 1 fourth area here, and then the next area shaded would actually be this region here, which had an area of 9 fourths. With the same note as before, the integral from negative 1 to 2 being like net area is negative 9 fourths, which is not equal to the real area, which we found to be positive 11 fourths. Now, I didn't write all the details, but I'm sure you can get to that answer.